Hello, Asia Senior High, and welcome to Workout Wednesday. I'm Mrs. Thompson, and I am so excited to be leading you through some yoga today, because as many of you know, yoga is one of my favorite things in the whole world, and I love the opportunity to share it with other people. So I'm gonna have you take a chance to uh, go and change into some really comfortable clothes so that you can do lots of stretching. Um, maybe grab a yoga mat, and you'll definitely need a water bottle, because it'll be a super intense workout. I'm just kidding. Today we are doing chair yoga. So wherever you are sitting and whatever you are wearing is perfectly fine for chair yoga today. Now, if you are slouched back in your couch, I'm gonna have you move towards the end of it, basically wherever you need to sit so that your feet are both planted on the floor. The reason why we wanna do that is because that helps to keep our hips and shoulders in alignment. And so we don't wanna do any stretches that are gonna throw off our alignment. Instead, we want our stretches to actually help to relax our body. And so we'll begin by taking some slow, deep inhales and exhales. Yoga always comes back to the breath and really that's the thing that we do all day, every day. So we're all really good at it. So as you deeply inhale and exhale, we help to slow our body. We help to convince our body that we're not stressed, that we're in a safe place. If you think about that fight or flight response, when we're stressed, when we're panicked, our heart rate increases, our breath shortens. So when we slow our breath, we can actually trick our body into thinking that everything's okay. That's why people tell you, calm down, take a breath. It actually does work. And so that's part of what we do to help get ourselves centered in yoga. So those deep inhales and slow exhales, helping to get us to that centered place. And when I was trying to come up with what poses we should work on today, I thought where we most likely store our stress. So for a lot of people, it's neck and shoulders, it's back and it's hips. So we're just gonna do a couple of movements today that are gonna help to release those parts of your body. So we're gonna start with our shoulders and this is gonna work your arms a little bit as well. So I'll have you begin by grasping your fingers into one another. If you have long nails, this is going to like stab yourself, so we don't want to do that. So then wrap your fingers around one another, that works fine too. But if you have short nails, go ahead and grasp your fingers. And you're going to bring your fists towards your heart center and begin to pull them apart. So imagine as though you're playing a game of tug of war with yourself. If you don't do that, if you just kind of have floppy arms here, then you're not going to feel much of a stretch. But the minute you start to activate there, you're all of a sudden going to start to feel that across your chest, across your shoulders, across your biceps, and really feel that activation. So this is going to help to get our shoulders involved. But we also want to stretch our back a little bit. And so we're going to do that by adding a twist. So take your left elbow and move it towards the back of the room. And your chin is going to be the last thing to go because you really want that stretch to come from your spine rather than from your neck. And with every inhale, lift a little taller, like lift the crown of your head a little higher. And with every exhale, stretch a little bit more. So you probably can't see any change in my body, but I can feel that with every inhale, I'm lifting a little bit taller. And with every exhale, I'm stretching just that tiniest bit more deeper into that stretch. And I feel it for me, down my left shoulder towards my spine, towards my torso. On your next exhale, exhale, move back to center. Drop your arms, maybe circle out your shoulders a little bit if you felt a little bit of that tightness. And you're probably feeling a little bit more in one bicep than the other right now. So we're gonna balance it out with the other side. So you're gonna switch the way you interlace your hands before. So for me, I had my left hand behind my right, and so now I'm gonna switch and go in the opposite direction. If you had your hands interlaced around one another, then you're gonna switch and go in the opposite. There we go, <laughs> go in the opposite direction that way. So again, activating those arms by playing that game of tug of war with yourself, and then taking your right elbow towards the back of the room, letting your chin be the last thing to go, and with every inhale, lengthening a little more, and every exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. Those micro movements that help to deepen the stretch, each inhale and each exhale. And with your next exhale, come back to center, drop your hands, give your shoulders a little bit of a roll, and hopefully you started to feel some activation in your shoulders and your arms from that. 
Maybe you're just so strong that that wasn't a challenge for you, in which case we'll give you another movement that maybe will be more of a challenge. So for many of us, we hold our straps, like I said, in our shoulders or in our back, but our hips are also a spot where a lot of people see their stress. And this is gonna be a pose where everyone's body will react differently. So maybe when you first get into the pose, you're like, that's where I need to stop. That's enough of a stretch for me. And maybe you're gonna take some extensions and really challenge yourself a little bit more. Just listen to your, that, your body, that's the key to yoga. So you're gonna take your left leg and cross your left ankle over your right knee so that you're sitting sort of like traditional gentleman style if we're being like gender binary for a second. And for some of you, you are already gonna feel this stretch right now. And so your job is just to breathe through that. If you're feeling it, you're gonna feel it in your left hip right now. For some of you, you're like, no, I don't feel this at all. I'm young and spry, I don't feel anything. So if that's the case, you're gonna maybe press down a little bit on that left knee and that's gonna to help to activate your hip. So maybe that's where you are today. For others, you're still not feeling anything. And if that's the case, you're gonna to begin to lengthen your spine with every inhale and then with every exhale, you're gonna to begin to lean forward a little bit more. And at some point as you're leaning forward, you are gonna hit that spot where your body says, okay, that's good, please don't go any further. Now, if you're a gymnast, maybe your hands are gonna be on the floor by the time you're done with this and you're gonna look like a little pretzel, that's amazing. But for most of us, we're probably not gonna be able to get that far into the pose. But just like with the twist that we did before, with every inhale, we're gonna lengthen a little bit and with every exhale, we're gonna deepen into that stretch. With every inhale, lengthen, and with every exhale, stretch a little bit further. One more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly come back out of that, release your left leg, and we're gonna move to the other side. If you need to give yourself a little bit of a shimmy shake before we do that switch, feel free to do so. And then you're gonna take your right ankle and place it over your left knee. Each side could be completely different. So for me, this side is a lot tighter than the first side was, so I'm already feeling it here. Uh, so that is completely fine if that is how your body is. It has to do with what side you might sleep on. It could even be the way you sit on your couch or the way you sit in your chair. So don't judge your body, just listen to it. If you need a little bit more of a stretch than where you are now, you can begin to press down a little bit on that right knee. And if you're willing to go a little bit further and your body's telling you that okay, that's okay, then you can lengthen and begin to stretch forward. Lengthen on your inhale, deepen your fold on your exhale until you find that spot where your body says this is stretch, but not pain. If you hit the spot where it feels like pain, back off of that a little bit. Stretch is good, pain is bad. So with every inhale, lengthening a little bit more, and with every exhale, just deepening into that fold the tiniest bit further. One more inhale, one more exhale, and then release yourself out of that, uncross your legs, give yourself a little bit of a shimmy shake, and congratulate yourself for getting through what might have been your first yoga practice for some of you. So I hope that you can take those very simple movements and use them when you need a little break from working on your distance learning, when you've been hunched over your Chromebook a little bit too long, that twist can really help you to uh, release out of that when you've been sitting in your chair for a while, the hip one can help. So I hope you can take those into your day and not just on, on workout Wednesday, but any day to be able to make your life a little bit brighter. So thanks for spending a few minutes with me and I hope that you have a wonderful day.